Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now today, we are doing another scary video. You guys like the last one. If you haven't already checked that out, go in down below. The link will be there. Now we're reacting to Slapped Hams. These scary ghost sightings will keep you awake tonight. So let's see how many of you can make it to the end. And let me know at the end of the video down below, uh, which was your scariest one. So yeah, let's uh, get into the video. <laughs> Ooh. The last thing we want as we rest in our beds at night is for something spooky to happen. Even worse is that those who experience these creepy events are usually too dazed from their sudden awakening to figure out what's actually going on. Yeah. In this first video, uploaded to Reddit by Always Blurken, it's not a human, but rather two animals. Oh, that's scary, man. We've got a cat. We've got a cat over first. on the right, look. Take a look. Holy. And we've got a dog. Mate, the footage shows the Reddit that all scared me. Now I just seen a fucking. I didn't even see that dog rests there. On the floor, and a cat sleeps on a table nearby. For a few moments, all is quiet. Then suddenly, the cat on the table lifts its head up and looks towards the door. So <sighs> too does the dog. A second later, the like door this. seems to open all on its own. I don't like this. Oh hell no. Both the dog and cat continue to stare cautiously, seemingly waiting for something. That woman looks like she's laughing in her sleep like that. <laughs> Damn. In the second video, the Redditor lays in their bed. They reach over the to the nightstand gone. next to them, and as they do, a book on the opposite side of the bed falls to the floor, spooking the dog as it does. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Based on the pet's genuine reactions in both clips, it seems... If I'm watching this back the next morning, I see all this. Best believe I'm selling the house. I'm selling the house. Keep everything in it. I don't give a fuck. Burn the shit down. I'm gone. Reinforces the idea that animals might possess a sixth sense, which makes them more attuned to paranormal activity. Shit. Could it be possible then that the Redditor's pets knew that something ghostly was roaming right outside the bedroom door? Did you hear the door open like that? <coughs> Mate. <laughs> I'm one of these where I'm laying in bed at night yeah, and I'm just drifting off. As soon as I hear a bit of light, even if there's a bit of rain on the wind, I'm like, ah, what the fuck was that? I realise it's raining more night. Or like I'll, uh, I'll hear like, I don't know, a little creak at night. I'm like, ah. <sighs> I, just, I just don't like it. Things that I can't see freaks me out. Getting some water. I don't know what's underneath me. Freaks me out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Things that I can't see freaks me out. No thanks. I like to see what's Some in front of me. Some viewers, however, remain sceptical of the second clip, suggesting that the book falling off the nightstand could have a far simpler explanation. They oh. believe that by touching the nightstand Damn. on the opposite side of the bed, the Redditor could have made the other nightstand move. Yeah, that's facts. Inadvertently causing yeah, the book to fall Yeah, that could be over. true, that could be true. Like, she could have, like, because the nightstand might be against the bed, super, like, close the to the bed. She could be, like, knocking it. that this could be the case. But after witnessing the bedroom door seemingly open all by itself, there's just enough room for doubt to remain. No, that's fucked. That is... That's gone. Ah. No thanks. No thanks at all. Seeing a deer on the roadside <laughs> is pretty common for many drivers, especially while driving through wooded areas. Usually, however, deer are shy creatures and quickly disappear from sight. When Redditor, not Slim Shady, narrowly missed hitting a deer <laughs> not while on a night time drive in Kentucky, they noticed that the animal remained still, so they Let's took see. the opportunity to capture a photo. Let's see. In the picture, we can see the deer standing on the side of the road. However, there appears to be someone or something hell standing yeah. right beside it. Oh, hell no. We can see that while the shape resembles a human, it seems to be transparent and almost looks as if it's made out of a wispy, mist-like substance. I'm good. The figure even appears to have an outstretched arm as if attempting to feed the deer. Yeah, 100%. Fellow Redditors were quick to offer their opinions on the photo. Some suggested that the entity could simply be fog, a reflection of light, or even a totem, but... What the devil? One fellow Redditor even brightened the image so we can get a better yeah, look. Yeah, that's, that's definitely Here a ghost. Here we can see what look like two eerie eyes and even a faint <clears throat> grin. That's definitely a ghost. 
Might even be its owner that passed away, you never know. While it's impossible to know for sure just what the uploader has managed to capture on camera, it's hard to deny that the figure certainly does possess an eerie, ghostly quality. Whether it was just an extremely well timed <sighs> photo or one that... See, I can't cope with, with ghosts and shit. I believe in them, you know, I just couldn't cope. If I seen one, I think my heart would stop. I really do. Like, there's not not too many things that scare me, but stuff that I can't see, like I've explained, scare the shit out of me. Because how are you supposed to, like, run away or fight that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I'm sitting here now doing this video. There could be a fucking ghost right next to me now looking at my face like that. Hey, bitch. How you doing, mate? Yeah? Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm whispering in your ear now, and you can't even fucking see me. You know what I'm trying to say? It could be, like, sticking his fucking ass in my face. I won't know. I turn around to like, oh, what's that? A fucking bum hole in my face, you know what I'm saying? Freaks me out. You're in bed at night, you're just fucking enjoying yourself. You're like, oh, oh yes, it's good, this. Yeah, there's a dude just watching you like that. You won't know. You won't know. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the video. Has actually managed to capture a spirit is a <coughs> question that's difficult to answer. <laughs> Take another look for yourself and let us know what you think in the comments section below. <laughs> oh, dear, I do make myself laugh. Ambulances are often involved in many scary and sad events, with the most impactful often involving life or death situations. This Instagram video shared by user Gregorio Santos Zero appears to show something rather chilling. Come on then, what is it? While at first glance you may not notice anything out of the ordinary, no, I didn't. If you look closely you should be able to spot it. Oh, I see that. We can see what I see to be a white mass that seems to come out of the back of the yeah. ambulance and float off down the street. Yeah, I see that. Here it is, zoomed in and slowed down. Shit. Shit. One viewer suggested that this could actually be the soul of a person yeah. leaving its body. It could be that someone passed away. They did an the experiment on. Sorry, I'm pausing it again. They did an experiment on someone. They put them on like this weighing scale thing. And when they passed away, their body instantly dropped like five ounces in weight. And uh, they had a thermal camera on or whatever kind of camera. And you seen like this mist leave the body. And as soon as that mist left the body, the weight dropped. Oh, it's so freaky. It's so freaky, isn't it? It's the energy. It's the it's, it's what you are. It's all into afterlife. the afterlife. Another suggestion was a little bit darker that the mysterious shape was really an evil spirit passing through the ambulance, perhaps appearing to collect the soul of whoever was inside. Mate. I'm sweating. I'm, a I'm actually sweating. I'm actually sweating. A video uploaded by Tony Nagura of his son dancing to Green Day on the TV so on, son. started out cute. I know it's Panama, but... Take a look. Look at him, dude. Rocking now, rocking now. Yeah, look at Liza. Go like this. Liza. Yeah, hey, Australia. Like Liza, look at... A few moments into the video, we can see something move in the background just Where? to the left of his son. Hey, like this. Liza, look at... Hey. A second later, we're able to get a clearer view of oh, what appears to be shit. another child. Hey. Liza, go like this. <laughs> As the YouTuber's son continues to dance, the mysterious child stands in the background watching. Oh, then shit. the YouTuber's son spins around and suddenly stops as he appears to spot the other child staring at him. Keep the kid. Hey. Keep the house. I'm out. Liza, go like this. Shortly after, we can hear what sounds like You know you've got like a problem when your kid's like staring at it like, It's my friend. It's in slow Poop motion face. and has been brightened up. This gives viewers an even clearer and more terrifying look at the mysterious child in the background. Oh, shit. Based on the fact that the original <sighs> uploader was certain there were no other children present when he captured the video, keep the kids, the keep the house. Something paranormal I'm out there. was no definitely way. going on no here. Way. Hi, Tim, who are you talking to? Oh, it's just my mate of Damien. Course, others were quick Fuck to that. Rain in their parade, suggesting that there Stay must away. have been other children present and that the uploader had simply forgotten <sighs> that they were there. However, several keen eyed viewers have noticed that the potential spirit child doesn't seem to have a reflection in the mirror behind him, 
adding to the credence that they could indeed be a ghost. Yeah, let's just move on now. Let's just move on. Next clip. Come on. Take another look. No, we don't need another look. Child lurking in the darkness. We don't need another look. It could be We've had enough. Section below. We've had enough. Move on. I don't want to look. Finally. Security cameras can catch a lot of strange figures on tape, many of whom are often thought to be ghosts. This video shared by Rachel Jones and Kader's That's clips UK, shows though, right? just such a figure. It's like UK. Take a look and see what you think. What the hell? Holy. I see that. You got fucking Casper out here clip, doing fucking see a street, street patrol. At time with a house on the other side of the road. A few seconds into the video, a light appears on the house's driveway that's being carried by what looks to be a transparent human-shaped figure. I thought that was actually a person at first, a real person. The bizarre figure walks down the driveway, then turns to the right of the screen before eventually disappearing altogether. We've got Casper out here doing fucking street patrol. Fuck that. Keep the street as well. <laughs> While it's been suggested that the video shows a ghostly figure carrying a lamp, some skeptics have argued that the figure is probably just a person carrying a torch who's out for a nighttime stroll. What in the fucking ghost? The problem ghost with this idea, however, is that you can clearly see the figure is transparent and also seems to totally vanish as it approaches the dark car on the right. Yeah, no man, that's freaky. That's freaky. Perhaps the camera that caught this mysterious piece of footage was faulty in some way. Nah. If this isn't the case, however, then it's hard to argue. If that, that was the case, all the things would be glitching and, and blurring out. You know what I mean? Like, that's definitely not the case. Other things are a bit, like, everything's so in focus right now. The Jerome <laughs> Grand Hotel in Arizona is yet That motherfucker looks scary and haunted before you even go in it. Paranormal. Originally serving as a hospital in the 1920s, the property... Oh my god. Look above the door. The asylum. Don't stop in a hotel. Yeah, it's, it's called the asylum. Well, it's not called. It's... Fuck that. I'm sleeping outside in a tent before sleeping somewhere that's got the asylum on it. And it looks like fucking Dracula's fucking penthouse. several transformations over its nearly 100 year history. In 1996 it began operating as a hotel. Since then both guests and employees alike have reported mysterious activity. Thought the asylum, toast, test, tasting room. This includes hearing childish laughter and crying, coughing, labor well, tasting. footsteps, doors slamming and voices coming from vacant rooms. Ghostly sightings are also quite common. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Look at the state of it. is a child who likes to watch people sleeping in their beds. There's also two women, one in a white gown, an old caretaker of the hotel, and a ghostly cat who's heard hissing and scratching at the private <laughs> doors. You don't need the hotel. It's not just not sights and sounds down. either. Guests have reported smelling such things as whiskey, cigar smoke, flowers, and baby powder when there's no clear source to be found. Lastly, guests have also noted anomalous activity like TVs randomly flickering on and off, objects becoming unplugged, and toiletries rolling around the room completely. Nah, the man, room. why still got it up? When Redditor W. Chollins and his girlfriend spent the night at the hotel, they snapped a series of photos. Oh, they here, we go. That the property here we go. Here we go. Let's altered. see. In the photo, we can see one of the hotel's hallways. In the very back to the left is what looks to be a shadowy figure standing right next to a door. <clears throat> no thanks. This door looks nice. I look the to the right. I don't want to look at you. That there was no one oh, else yeah. around nice as it green was very walls. early in the morning. Nice walls, that, if I look at that, I know I'm going to get cursed. I'm going to get cursed, aren't I? I'm not looking. Immediately after I'm this looking. photo was taken, the Redditor took a short video of the same area. Unfortunately, they didn't post it to the subreddit, but a moderator did share several still images from the unseen video. Oh, man, you can do it. Here you can you clearly can see that the shadowy figure is now completely gone. <whistles> Viewers have oh, shit. on this potential <coughs> paranormal sighting. Many oh, people agree shit. that this could simply be another person entering yeah, the Yeah, it could room. be, but most likely Whether not. Others who knew of or had themselves visited the Jerome Grand Hotel thought that this shadowy Look at figure that. Have been get, fuck, get rid of it as many get rid of experience it. ghostly activity themselves or heard stories from others 
based on the countless other claims of supernatural oh, experiences, goodness. this photo may indeed show some sort of a ghost. <laughs> if so, one wonders whether it's a friendly <laughs> spirit roaming the halls, or could it be an entity <laughs> that has bad intentions for those who visit <laughs> this old hotel? Is it gone yet? Is it gone? Is it gone yet? That's close. Many pet owners whose pets have passed away would like to believe that their spirits Dogs, are ghost, caught on camera. Them. In fact, many okay. claim to have seen their pets ghosts what? from time to time, or even heard them or running around. This video, shared by Cater's Clips, may have just caught this phenomenon in action. Come on, what we got? What we got? <gasps> what the? Shortly into the clip, we can see what looks to be a light blue-coloured ghostly figure walk by. Oh shit! You can see it like a step! Remarkably, the ghostly figure does very closely resemble a dog. Oh shit! In fact, the resemblance you can see it's like right leg, right a step. Good. But it could be it's cigarette been smoke. suggested that this dog's supposed spirit might have been added to the video in post-production. Take another look and see what you think. Here it is, slowed down. Yo, that looks freaky though. Whatever the case may be, videos such as these do give grieving pet owners the hope that their beloved friends are still around, even yeah. if it's only in spirit form. Would you really be freaked out though? Do you know if you knew that your pet had passed away and you knew that the spirit was around, would you really be freaked out? Before we take a look at a couple know. of images that have caused quite a stir Now if I start Reddit, eating barking in the middle of the night and I ain't got a dog, button, then, then I'm leaving. That little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Or like you see like a, a ball that just like loop go back and forth or you it's, and it's nails videos. on the floor. Nah. Also, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to see shit. Okay now they shit me up then. I thought someone was fucking next to me. This last footage on our list is certainly difficult to explain. Reddit user GB34 claims that the images were captured on their cousin's security camera. While the first picture is certainly strange, it's easy to describe what it appears to show. A white, ghostly figure hovering in mid-air. Come on then. What we got? The second image is a little more difficult to explain, however. It could possibly be a close-up of the floating figure's face. It has enormous, piercing black eyes that are staring directly into the camera and it appears to be made of a white, misty substance. Yeah. Many theories have attempted to explain what appears in these two photos. Every possibility, from a ghost to an elusive cryptid, has been suggested. Could just Several be viewers have even that. noted the striking similarity between the strange white figure and Mr. Burns when he's mistaken for an alien in an episode of The Simpsons. Looks like something from Flubber. As bizarre as these photos are, some think they might have been faked, as the images appear to show the edges of a camera's viewfinder, a detail that's not usually part of security footage. Whatever the case may be, these two photos are sure to continue to pique the interest of many supernatural sleuths. Unfortunately, until more information comes to hand, the yeah. identity of the bizarre ghostly I don't know about that one. You don't really know. It could just be anything, to be honest with you. So not too bad. <laughs> see some more. Right, guys, that is it. See that video right there wasn't too bad. A few, a few things in that made me feel like, holy shit, no, thank you. We weren't too bad. Uh, I'm yet to find something that really freaks me out. Um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this. If you made it this far, comment down below saying I made it all the way to the end. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out, guys. Have a great day. Peace.